Hello, hello, good morning, good morning. It's Carol and Benny here, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator from here in Australia, and it is a Facebook Friday time again. And it is a beautiful day here, so I am feeling pretty good. First week back at school, all the kiddos have gone back to school. And oh, good morning, Kayla. Um, we've had a big week here in the Benny household with my oldest going to high school. We start high school here when um, in year eight. So I know that's a little bit different than everywhere else in Australia. Um, so he is headed off to high school. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Christy. Hey, Katrina. Um, and it's been, you know, mummy... Um, nerves have been at peak <laughs> this week gosh it doesn't get easier just because they're older tell you what but anyway so he, we are close we, this is the last day of the week and we are all exhausted are you guys have you guys sent your kids off to school are they all really tired or do you remember what that's like do you remember when you were at school what it was like holy moly that first week we are exhausted. Oh, it's the same in Queensland. Oh, oh, I don't know that it is, Kayla. I think it depends. You know, um, if um, if you're in private school, I think most private schools start high school in year seven now as well. So, hey, Rosa, how are you? Um, yeah, so you know what? Um, I've done something a bit foolish and I... And, because you guys, even though I can see what you're writing, I, I can't, you can't help me out by whispering in my ear right now how to pronounce a word. <laughs> and I really should have checked with my husband or with my um, children that study French how to pronounce this word. So the stamp set that we're using today is Cake Soiree. I think it's pronounced cake soiree. So I'm gonna hold, oh, can you, can you see? Am I saying it right? Is it soiree? Tell me I'm saying it right, because that's really embarrassing. If I get through the whole video and I don't know how to say the last word. Anyways, yes, it is. Oh. <laughs> Because, like, you know what? I just looked at the... <laughs> oh, your oldest started preschool today? Oh, yeah. I'm saying it right. <sighs> because that would have been, you know, a little embarrassing to get through the whole of this morning and be saying it wrong. Anyway, so we're using this stamp set today, Cake Soiree, and it's a double stamp set. Oh, you know, I should have... We didn't learn French Oh, no, we didn't learn French at primary school. I think I could have learned, I might have learned. No, didn't learn it at high school either, I don't think. I think that was an elective. Um, so those, it's a double stamp set that we're playing with. Hey, Deborah, you're now in Perth. Wow, that is early in the morning. Um, so it's a double stamp set. It's got some coordinating amazing dies. It is out of the Occasions catalog, which is um, available to purchase from straight away. You can do that. And this has got to be the most fun I've had stamping in a little while. Um, I, I don't know what attracted me to this set because... I don't know. It's probably not my normal thing, but gosh, I've had fun playing with this stamp set. Um, and I thought that, um, I think you guys will like it too. I think it's actually probably more diverse than we first considered. But anyways, I'm going off on a tangent. I hope you guys are all well. Oh, Renee. Yes, indeed. That's your middle name. Oh, gosh, your name just keeps getting even lovelier, Kayla. You need to just hold back with all the... Your mum must have been a very clever woman. Celebration. Still happening, you know. So cool. Um, I've had such 
a lovely response to celebration this year and I think that if you have not checked out this catalogue you're going to want to. So what is celebration? It is a three month sale we're one month in and any time you purchase anything here in Australia that's $90 or more from Stampin' Up you get to pick one of these amazing stamp sets, papers, ribbons, for free so it's a gift with purchase sale so um, this um, cake soiree as I now can say it like an expert uh, this stamp set is comes in a bundle <laughs> sailoration <laughs> did I say that oh, gosh I hope not um, so this bundle that we're playing with today is in the occasions catalogue it is ooh, this one over here I'm not so good. I should show you this when I'm sitting down. No, that's not the bundle. That's it there. So it's got the beautiful stamp set and you've got all of these coordinating dies as well. Now, um, it's it's a big set because you've got 18 rubber stamps and you've got 16 dies. Um, and But bundle, you get 10% off. So it's always better to buy things in a bundle if you can. For the clear mount, which is what I'm playing with today, it's $106, which means that then you'd be able to select a free item at a celebration as well. Awesome, because you get not only this fabulous stamp set and bundle but then you get a freebie too love that the other thing that you need to remember is this is the perfect time of year to join stampin up because they're giving away extra stuff when you join how cool is that you can find out all the information about joining stampin up joining my team i've got a question and answer sheet on my blog which is carolynbedding.com i'd love you to come and join my fabulous bunch of midnight inklings that's what we call my team because I like to stamp late. Um, so come over to my blog carolynbenny.com and check it out because we're having a lot of fun. Uh, we have our own little Facebook forum page. We get together at fabulous events. We've got some great events coming up in Perth and Sydney in a few um, months time for Stampin' Up and we all get together and have a lot of fun. So you, that is the best team to join. I think um, I've got a couple of my lovely team on the um, on Facebook this morning, so they can tell you we are the best. Come and join us. So, shall we play with this stamp set? And I'll show you what we're going to make. All right. So I'm going to turn you guys over. Just you know, hold tight because you get to see the back side of my stamping area while I flip. <laughs> Oh, that's a very nasty sound. That, that's my um, Archon stand making funny noises. All right. Okay. There we go. Oh, now I better just make sure I can't, I haven't actually um, got my video going on my computer, so I want to hear you guys. Hear? That's, I don't hear. You can hear me. I want to be able to read what you guys are saying. Okay. There we are. Hey, I can see a few lovelies have joined. Make sure you say hi. Hey, I'm from Iowa. How are you? Gosh, it's lovely to have our beautiful American friends joining in too. That makes me happy. Make sure you come on in. Say hello. Tell me where you're watching from. We've had a bit of a French lesson here this morning, April. I didn't know how to say the stamp set properly. Oh, gosh, I'm such a Wally. <sighs> wally in Australia means a, a bit a bit silly. I say lots of – if I say Australian terms and you don't know what I'm meaning, please ask me. <laughs> I forget what's um, – whether I'm saying things that are – uh, Australian slang or not sometimes okay so here we go this is the card that we are making today it is a delicious chocolate cake I do love me a chocolate cake and this has to be 
just the easiest chocolate cake I've ever baked. <laughs> For sure. Isn't it pretty? What do you think about that, guys? Thumbs up? It is a fabulous stamp set, this one, because you get to make a cake, fabulous cake. You get these beautiful little rosettes in the stamp set as well. Um, some fabulous sentiments, which I think you guys should really um, just take special note of because, you know, when I saw this stamp set, I kind of thought, oh, it's a wedding cake. It's a wedding stamp set. That's what it is. But in actual fact, it's really more and more, the, I look at it, a birthday one because there's quite a lot of lovely birthday sentiments. You've got to celebrate, a best wishes and a for you. I think the celebrate could definitely be a, a wedding. Back to front, sorry. Ooh, doo -doo. Oh, crazy with the back to frontness. There we go. Um, so you could definitely use it for um, all sorts of occasions because what occasion does not need cake really um, so yes I've decided to do a birthday cake card for our cake today and while I saw I did have a check out on the catalog and I had a quick look online because I don't want to make something that everybody else is making so I didn't see a lot of chocolate cake and to me these days like even weddings I think um, people really are going for the, the chocolate cakes don't you think? You like the colours that I've chosen? Hey do you know what um, Tony this is a chocolate chip this colour here and um, my team uh, I'm running a little challenge in my team at the moment to use neutral colours. Now I have, uh, I can't enter this in my challenge because I've used some um, pinks and um, Calypso Coral. But um, do you know, I fell back in love with chocolate chip. This would probably be one of the first colours that I really started playing with when I joined Stampin' Up! like eight, nine years ago. Um, and I just, I've forgotten how much I love the colour. So do find, dig out your chocolate chip and have a little play with, um, with that colour again because it is delightful. So let's get making because we've got a lot to do today. So that is Cake Soiree. These are all of the fabulous little frame, frame lits that come with your, in your little case here, the, um, not celebrate you, sweet cake framelits there's some cute ones you also have lots of little that's a bow for the top of the cake there's some beautiful flower ones this one I think I'm going to love that's a little tag with this beautiful flourish down the bottom I haven't had a chance to play with all of them yet my lovelies but um, we're going to have a good play with the ones I've got today okay let's start with the stamping so I'm going to get a piece of chocolate chip cardstock and I'm actually going to do some heat embossing to get our cake. This is a embossing buddy, which I love. I keep them in a little bowl close at hand. That way I don't forget to use it because sometimes it's easy to forget this bit in the embossing process and then you find that you've um, the embossing powder just picks up everywhere I've got my beautiful cake gosh I love this cake with all of that who thought of doing this this is just so perfect to have the flowers all over the cake stamp you actually have another stamp in the set as well which is a solid stamp but I just thought I'm going to stamp straight onto the chocolate cake um, cardstock so this is Versamark that I'm using. I think I may have had this Versamark since I started stamping up. So, you know, a good decade now, uh, almost a decade. And it is a clear, I'm wasting, I'm wasting um, cardstock by stamping it in the middle. That's just a waste, isn't it? You guys are going to tell me off for wasting. Oh, it's growing on you. Oh, I, oh, I'm glad it's growing on you. You don't have this one in your stash. Oh, you know I'm an enabler. I am an enabler, my lovelies. 
I like to turn on to the stamp sets that perhaps aren't going wild and this one should go wild because it is so so pretty so I've stamped in Versamark which is a clear water mark ink so it's fabulous for sticking things to it so we this is white embossing stampin up powder I keep my little powders that I use a lot in these containers because they're kind of go to I'm not loving that image I think I might have moved it when I was stamping so I'm going to do it again I'll be quick I promise bear with me I'll be quick I want it to be perfect for you guys I think I tried to move it into the middle a little bit more so I'll be quick I'm an enabler yay <laughs> that's my job hi Tanya how are you oh you're not late babe you're not late okay so I've just stamped this again because you know perfectionism it's not healthy but I'm that's where I'm at okay oh that's better that's much better I do like that now you could probably go oh Carol it looks exactly the same what are you talking about let me show you the difference so can you see this one kind of had a double am I just it's had a bit of a double and this one's very it's very fine can anyone see the difference or is it just me being crazy could be me okay so I've got my heat gun close at hand and I like to put through past experiences I've realized that you do not apply your heat gun to your cutting mat because it will it will wreck it <laughs> but I did find out that if I put if I put a heat gun to my cutting mat and it bowed do you know you can put it in the oven at a very at a low heat and it flattens back out again there you go that's a little a little bit of information for you there so I'm just heating up my heat gun a little bit uh, before I start applying the heat to it the reason why I do that is because hey Renee um, because if you start with the heat gun cooler than it should be it's going to be on your cardstock longer before the paper the, the powder melts so the cardstock warps more so I heat my heat gun up away from the cardstock first and then apply it to the to the cardstock let me see if I can get you guys a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing oops For some reason there we go you can see what I'm doing now. Right. Of course, now it's bending like a crazy thing. That's good. All pieces of powder are now shiny. back there we go okay so we have now got a lovely heat heated melted image with our embossing powder so what I wanted to show you guys next first of all remember to put your lids back on your powder because that's an accident waiting to happen right there um, what I wanted to show you guys next is a little trick that I really enjoy with my colored pencils you know I'm a bit of a color pencil fan so I want to show you the difference between this finished cake can you see that it's got shading on it? oh dear someone's knocking on the front door all right I just got to check who it is won't be a second It's 
the Stampin' Up! delivery. Oh my goodness, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I think now this is... I'm into my second year of Facebook Lives and that's only happened twice to me. Last time it happened, I was so rattled that I think I stumbled through the rest of the video very um, badly. But actually, I'm quite used to it now. Now, Tanya has said, often the cardstock gets warped, you can hit the other side and it straightens it out. Exactly, Tanya. That is exactly what I do. So do you see here how this one has some shading on it? And this one looks a lot flatter. Does that, are you seeing that? Well, how I do the shading, I'm puffing because I run to the door. That's really sad that just running to the door can make me puff. <sighs> I think I need to do some exercise. Is I get my coloured pencils and you can add some shading to the cardstock. And it just brings up some definition makes it look round right so does anyone else do this add some cut the same color so this one here well it's early espresso and I am using chocolate chips it's a tiny bit darker but if you add some color pencil to your cardstock you'll actually get some lovely definition to what would normally be a very flat image is that coming up nicely on the camera can you guys see so you know you know how I am about coloring this is my happy place and even oh I've got it on the white embossing not to worry I've got it because I'm rushing a little bit because you know as much as I enjoy watching me color do you guys enjoy watching someone else color I'm one of those crazy people that do I can sit there and watch those art videos where people are all colouring and I enjoy it. Well, again, you guys are watching a video of someone stamping, so maybe you're like me. Okay, so I'm just adding a little bit of extra shading. Is it coming up? Can you see it? It looks great. Oh, good. I'm glad. It's a good idea, yes. It, um, it certainly it just brings it... Up a little bit doesn't it look at that you know like it is just coloring with your color pencils to the cardstock now I'm going to so you could leave you could add a little bit more you could get a little bit more excited but you know times our enemy here on Facebook live right so I'm just going to perhaps not get as excited as I might normally I would probably normally take a little bit more time with that but you know I'm a fuss pot right okay so that's the um the brown added to the chocolate cake we're getting our cake looking really delicious then it's it's got to be a pretty cake I think because we could actually leave it like that and I think that would look be just fine because it looks like the white icing on the chocolate cake but just for a little bit of fun oh my poor white pencil it it's so loved this white pencil I have got don't panic everyone I have got like a whole nother set of Stampin' Up! watercolor pencils that I can play with yet there I bought two sets at a time because I love them so much they're just perfect so I'm just putting some little bit of white over that flower uh, well actually there's a bunch of flowers there and then I'm doing that one there oh that was a leaf I didn't mean to color in the leaf so I've just added just a little bit of extra white and that's just to bed down um, some colors and make them pop a little bit more so I've got my Calypso Coral and I've got Melon Mambo two colors that work together beautifully let me just get um, I have to reach over here won't be safe mm 
my little earbuds only stretch so far. I need to buy a proper microphone. But the earbuds have worked quite well. So I like to keep my pencils super sharp. And the way I've found, um, the best way I've found it is to buy a proper pencil sharpener. This one I think I've had since I was in high school. And the, it's made, it's a German made metal um, pencil sharpener. For some reason, it just, there, you know, those plastic pencil sharpeners that you buy do not do the pencils as well. So I just want to sharpen them. I tend to sharp, that's why my white pencil is so small because I sharpen it so often. But I think it's really important to do that. So here I just want to add a little bit of colour. It will seem like you're almost doing nothing when you're adding it and it's not going to be very bright. But you'll be surprised just adding this little bit of colour will help such a lot to your image. I'll show you. Does that, can you see both? there yeah so this is what we're shooting for and this is what we're we're doing so I'm putting the calypso coral down first and I'm pr I'm pretty random like you know this isn't this isn't accurate or I'm taking a lot of time with I'm just really bedding down some color and then coming back over it with oh, I better. oh good morning Linda how are you then I'm just going to put a little bit of the melon mambo in the centers just like so these berries can have a little bit of color you don't want to go crazy and blossoms are my absolute favorite flower so I've got to give them a bit of extra colour. Okay. How's that? It's so cute. I think that's really lovely. Even if I do say so myself. But so it's really simple colouring. All right. You can um, achieve this really simply. The other thing I'm going to show you is the little flower. So I'm just using a really simple little flower image from the set and I've actually got my markers for this one. You could use uh, an ink, your ink pads and perhaps a sponge dauber, but I've, you know, I've got all the things. So I really like this technique with my markers. Okay, so same colours again. I love that Stampin' Up! We've got all these coordinating matching colours. So you can do this because you can have these matching colours in all the range. So I've got my Calypso Coral and you just get your, these are watercolour markers. So it's the same ink as in your ink pads. And you just draw on top of the stamp, right? And then I've got, I'm just going to come in with my Mellow Mambo to make like the inside of the flower slightly darker, just like nature. Now you huff on the image, which is you blow hot air from your mouth onto the stamp. It's like it's, you can't see it and it's probably a good thing or hear me huffing, but you just blow hot air out of your mouth onto the stamp it helps the ink blend a little bit and there we've got our cute little flower I'm going to bring that up there you can see that right now you can actually even play a little bit more with that with our color pencils again right so we, we drew already with our color pencils here to cut out to define the cake with some shadows we can do exactly the same thing because I've got a calypso coral pencil here on top of a stamped solid image which I think is so much fun and I can see myself doing like so much of this and just a little bit more in there it brings it up so pretty. 
can you see yeah just adds that little bit extra what do you think are you going to be color penciling on your stamped images as well okay so let's run these babies through the big shot I've got to find the correct this one that's the framelit that I want on that one and that's the framelit I want on that one so if you like something guys give me some thumbs up it um, Facebook loves it when you give lots of interaction on these Facebook lives so I so appreciate you being generous with your little thumbs up and your little smiles because they um you know oh look at that you guys are sweet thank you it's weird asking for that stuff but you know what I think most folk just don't um I don't know like we don't know how Facebook works do we <laughs> all right so okay I'm just adding what am I doing Carolyn you're not talk, talking about Facebook instead of telling me what you're doing okay so I'm just adding a little bit I'm gonna take this out a bit because you guys are super close um, a little bit of washi tape either side I know we do have a magnetic platform and all that kind of stuff but do you know I'm super particular about getting it just so and I found that popping a little bit of washi tape on the outside of my framelits makes them stay perfectly placed and I do like that so I'm bringing in actually you know what um, have I introduced you guys before to Bert I don't think I have so this is Bert Big Shot. This is Bertha's boyfriend. Um, Bert has a blue. We can tell because he's got a blue bow on him. But uh, his Bertha's offsider, and I don't know that you guys have met him. For the people that have just joined me, I have not gone crazy. Well, probably I've always been crazy. But I do name my Big Shots. Bert and, uh, well, my, my normal squeeze is Bertha. And uh, she's over on, I've got her set up all the time over on another little table. And Bert's been sitting on my desk for a few weeks. So maybe you'll see more of Bert these days. Is the die cut upside down on the cake? I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. No, it's cut. It's all good. <laughs> oh, you guys are making me worried. No, all good. Must have been an optical illusion. Okay, so that it's just dropped out real easy. So that's our lovely little cake. All pretty. Like so. And we've got our little flower. <laughs> oh, you're funny. Okay, um, so I'm just, you know what I'm going to do? I take out the dies straight away because too many dies have ended up in waste paper baskets if you do not take the dies out straight away. Okay, so I am a bad influence, Kayla. I'm sorry. I'm not really. Sorry, I'm not sorry. So here we've got that super cute little cake and that super cute little flower. And here, this is this is just I, I didn't I did this before, um, I did this yesterday because I thought well, there's only so much cutting out that you guys want to see. But it's this die cut and this die cut, um, and you know what? I did not could not work out what this die cut was. For. I thought it must have been at the top, like for. Uh, anyways I worked out it was the foot for the little cake holder could also be like a little key I don't know anyways so then we've got the little cake holder how adorable and we're just gonna load her up like this how cute is this cake okay so I've also gone ahead and done a little bit of stamping so this is the sentiment that I think is just beautiful. It comes in the one stamp. So, you know, you could actually, I suppose, cut it if you wanted to have these to um, make your day 
uh, may your day be as wonderful as you. Um, you could cut it, but I just think it's so sweet. Um, I would, I'll probably use this one quite a lot. Um, so now the piece of cardstock, you know I don't measure my cardstock. I just cut it till I'm happy. Uh, but I can probably tell you it is, oh, it's about 13.5 by about nine and a half okay you know I'm random I'm sorry people I know that not everybody is random like me but uh, but I am pretty random now let me work out what I need to do here so we're gonna stick this little baby on sometimes it's hard to Facebook and think at the same time has anyone else found that talking and thinking possibly is just me which is embarrassing okay so that's the little cake is on the tray then I wanted the tray to kind of have a little bit of space in between it there so what I thought I mean it looks fine straight on the top but I liked it with a little bit kind of a little bit of distance Gives a little perspective, doesn't it? So just popped a dimensional behind there. Oh, and I stuck it to the mat. That's not very smart, Carolyn. So it just gives a little bit of dimension. And then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. That's the worst English I think I've managed today, but the day is not over. I'm gonna I'm going to stop gunnering, Carolyn. I'm going to put some... Okay, so I am a bit crazy with my dimensional usage. I I am keeping stamping up afloat by the amount of dimensionals I purchase. But I do like a bit... You know, if you're going to put a dimensional on, let's make it really stay put. Then I touch all of the dimensionals probably more often than I should, just to check that all the sticky paper is gone. I'm going to put that like so. Oh, this is my favourite bit of when you put the cake on the paper. Yes, I'm going to Sydney, Renee, uh, Kayla. You like to use far too few. Oh, I am just, I'm nuts about them. You know what, there's six bucks for a pack of two, a pack of two sheets. That's money I can spare just for the delight of putting them on I like to then where have I put it you know my stampin my my little glue dots also a love actually I'm just in love with all the adhesives I've, I've worked out a common thread adhesives and sequins seem to be my thing I've put a little glue dot behind there it doesn't make a huge amount of difference but it does give it a tiny bit of lift underneath um, and a little bit of dimension rather than just adhering it on which I liked and I'm keeping this card super super simple so I'm just going to layer it Tombow another love of mine multi-purpose glue I've, I've realized my addictions adhesive that's probably not awesome to have on a bio right she's addicted to adhesive that's not good. All right, so I'm just going to layer with a little bit, a few, you know, I need to mat things up a few times. Come on, we need to get some layers going on. So this is such a simple design, but it just made my heart sing. Check it out. What do you think, people? Do you love it? Do you love cake soiree? Because now I can say it properly so pretty yeah <laughs> we are we are we definitely are we're keeping stamping up going with dimensionals so that is my little cake soiree step here on the inside of this one I have also got busy I've put a little insert and I've I, I, um, I did another one of those beautiful this is a different rosette which is available in the set so I'm going to pretty this one up and do the same thing on the inside beautiful another beautiful happy birthday sentiment there this is another little die that comes in the set it comes in this set of three 
which is just stunning for little um, flourishes. Love it. This set is just beyond. You, you must get your hands on this set. But, you know, I like to show you something a little step up as well. You know, like this is kind of, this is, I can't imagine this is what I would suggest as a bare basic card, but it was sim pretty simple to put together, right? But if you want it to be just a little bit over the top, then we, let's do that too, okay? So here is one where I've added just a few more bits to it. Now, if you have not tried the just fabulous um, the shimmery white embossing paste then you must you must try and get your hands on some of this from me hopefully shimmery white embossing paste so here is somewhere I went crazy and this is a, so it's a paste I've used this before I think on a Facebook live it's a paste and you use these little spatulas to apply it and this one's shimmery we have plain white and we also have silver you can find all of the the silver and the shimmery in on the same page let me show you and I've even got it tagged and I still can't find it so the shimmery and the silver are up here they're $15.75 for a pot and you also can get the sweet soiree I'm saying it correctly decorative masks here they are let me show you the masks because they are delicious so the one I've used here I think it's kind of like a um, I think they're meant to be little flowers gosh that doesn't show up very well on that color here let me so it's a mask where you can create this little what would you call that people tell me what you would call that it's kind of like a a little waterfall of flowerings no I can't think but it's pretty that's what it makes prettiness okay it's all glittery and shimmery can you see the glittery and shimmery so you've got that one but you've also got this one which coordinates with our cake card so if I, I could have stepped it up another way these actually go over the cake and you can add glittery paste to your cake stamp which is super cool or you've got some cute little candles and this beautiful flower here's when I was playing with some of these things it might show up a little bit better um, this way so you've got that's in the silver paste so pretty and that's our beautiful glittery shimmer paste there as well so these just are such fun little additions there's so many different ways that you can use this suite so check out page gosh why do I keep closing it page 12 and 13 in the occasions catalog if you do not have an occasions catalog please um, contact me I'm happy to post out an occasions catalog to anyone that would like to choose me as their Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Australia I've also got the PDF on um, so you can look at it online straight away straight now on my blog as well which is carolynbenny.com so many things on this beautiful suite that I haven't even touched on but the cake soiree bundle is the one that we've played with today now one last thing before I let you go this celebrate here this is actually made with a framelit from the celebration catalog so this is this framelit you can get for free and it comes it's called celebrate you thin lip dies they're three words oh you know so you've got the celebrate you've got you and amazing and they look so beautiful they coordinate beautifully with so many of our um, cards and stamps in the celebration range at the moment 
but these are a special one because if you spend $180 then you get to pick from these special orange um, items in the celebration catalog spend $90 and you can pick from any of these items but spend 180 and you get to pick these beautiful framelits which I've used on my card or this stunning stamp set called happy wishes so and we've got a few more bits and bobs coming out soon as well so those are the cake are the cake cards I've made today I kind of think that one's a little bit more wedding-y that one's definitely birthday -y. but what do you think do you think that you are now a little bit more interested in chocolate cake um I will spin you guys over so I can say goodbye Here I am. So, oh goodness, honestly. I hope that that was some. F <laughs> you like that, Tanya? That looked good? Awesome. I hope you like them. I always think my poor old stamping room looks like it's, you know, in the magic faraway tree upside down land there. But have a fabulous weekend, uh, my friends. I hope that um, you've enjoyed my Facebook Live today. Make sure that you call, choose words, you know, they're not coming easy. Make sure you tune back in next Friday when I'm back with another Facebook Friday and check out my blog for all of the additional information about these cards and all the bits and pieces I've used today. Um, that blog post will be up um, by this afternoon. All right, my friends, have a fabulous weekend and I will see you soon.